Hey, welcome to another episode of Cutter One. I am your host, Jay, just Jay, your culture warrior, your maker of trouble, your watcher of the watch -ums. Yes, that is a reference to the little card that my wife left me because she apparently misses J just J says I say a lot of ums so I'll try to be better about that anyway I hope everyone's doing well it is Saturday night and um I just wanted to touch base because another story came across the wire from earlier today um and it's it's one of those it's another case of don't start no trouble won't be no trouble um so let's take a look at it here, uh, so it says, uh, House of the Dragon writer Sarah Hess says Rhaenyra spared Queen Alicent from Dragonflame because, quote, they're both mothers in this terrible world created by men. Now, for starters, I'm not sure if this was the fault of Spencer um, or the Bounding Into Comics folks or what, but actually it should be Rhaenys Targaryen. It's not Rhaenyra, the, the actress that they're showing on screen um, and who this is about. Anyway, let's get to, to the story. It's uh, according to the House of the Dragon writer and executive producer Sarah Hess, the confusing decision made by Rhaenys in the series' latest episode to spare the lives of Queen Alicent and her fellow royal usurpers, thus condemning the realm to warfare, was born out of the recently freed Targaryen princess's womanly respect for her captor. Um, as seen in the climax of the series' ninth episode, The Green Council... The season-long battle between Queen Alicent and Rhaenyra for control of the Iron Throne came to a particularly brutal head when, after being freed from the former's captivity by Sir Eric, the Princess of Dragonstone summons her mount Meles and roars up from the depths of the dragon pit to confront her former confidant. However, upon coming dragon to face with Queen Alicent, Prince Aegon and their allies, rather than putting a decisive end to the power struggle and instructing her mount to roast them alive, Rhaenys spares them, instead choosing to simply turn and flee the city. Unsurprisingly, this merciful decision was met with confusion from fans, with many finding it unclear as to why Rhaenys would choose to avoid a handful of murders in favor of the bloody brutality of war. Presented with an opportunity to speak with the episode's writer and director, Sarah Hess and Claire Kilner, respectively, the Hollywood reporter's James Hibbard used the chance to inquire just as to why Rainey's did what she did, or rather, what she didn't do. Beginning with a bit of alternate history speculation, Hibbard opened his conversation with the pair by asking Hess for her thoughts as to what would Allison have chosen to do to Rainey's if she hadn't escaped and refused to bend the knee? To which she opined, I feel like she just keeps on being a prisoner. Allison not going, Allison's not going to chop her head off, reflected the writer. She's more passive. She tends to let the men steamroll her in most cases. So I don't know what would have happened. But Allison was clearly okay with just keeping, with keeping her there. I don't think she would have let her get murdered, but I don't think she necessarily would have set her free either. I think Allison believes she is trying to keep peace and stop war, but she's just working within the patriarchy, added Kilner, prompting Hess to affirm, Allison believes if we can just get the men to do the right thing. Turning to the moment during a recent post-episode premiere interview with the two, Hibbert asked, So from the beginning, we have been waiting for Rainies to do something badass, and you gave us this incredible moment. It's very cool, but it did make me wonder, does it make sense that she doesn't kill them? Briefly mentioning that she also murders a bunch of civil civilians by busting out anyway, the reporter was met with a simple exclamation from Hess, quote, it's Game of Thrones. Civilians don't count, unquote. Pressed further by Hibbert as to why Rhaenys didn't just pull the Dracarys trigger and save countless lives, possibly including her own, by preventing war, why just turn around and fly away, the writer explained. I think she just can't do it. Oh, why she didn't just turn around and fly away, the writer explained. I think she just can't do it. It's not her war, she continued. The fight is between these two sides, and she's kind of not in it. She doesn't feel like she's the one to come in and do that. But you're right. If she had just incinerated everybody, it's game over. Renera wins, and we're done here. But the cost is huge. I also feel like that moment, she looks Alicent in the eye, and Alicent walks in front of her kid to shield him, said Hess. 
It's one mother to another. Rainey's is angry, but in her previous scene with Allison, she respected her, even if she doesn't agree with her. So she's not going to kill another woman like that. Apparently, though, no fucking problem with killing civilians. In coming to this decision, interjected Kilner, the team talked to Rainey's actress, Eve Best, about this, and in the previous scene, she felt that Allison really saw Rainey's for the first time in a long time. In that moment, they're mothers in this terrible world created by men, and she can't do it, she concluded. House of the Dragon is currently airing Sunday nights on HBO. All right, uh, a couple of things that I just want to touch on real quick. Um, first of all, House of the Dragon is is going to be one of those shows, and it's already proven this uh, with with uh, this with the first episodes this season that um, the less the writers and the producers and the showrunners speak about the show, the more enjoyable the show will be for for viewers. Um, because everyone likes the show. It's it's written well. The characters are done well. Um, there is the subtext of certain agendas and 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 politics that are in, injected into it, but it, it doesn't beat you over the head. And that's all fans really want. They, we understand that there will be some um, reflection of the writers and and you know the 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 makers of the show. We understand that some of their politics will creep in, but as long as you're not preaching at us, it's okay. Um, and this is one of those shows that does exactly that. However, if you watch the uh, the the show that they do right after the episode airs, that little behind the scenes or you know inside um, thing, the stuff that they say, you know, you're just like, well, that's not what I took from the episode, and now you're sort of making it, you're you're cheapening it, you're lessening it because you're in, injecting politics, and that's what this is, and it goes back to the other episode. Um, that where I mentioned they were defending themselves about the race swap issue with Corliss Valerian and the Valerians. Um, and I said, nobody's complaining about it. Like you, you don't need to defend yourself against something that nobody's complaining about. Nobody is complaining that the women in this aren't strong and taking the lead in, in what's going on here. Um, it, it's part of the story and we understand it's part of the story and it's an integral part of the story. We don't need the writers and producers to come out and say things like, oh, certain characters are motivated simply on, based on the fact that the other person opposing them is a woman. So what you're saying is that Rain is this character, character who does something that we're like, okay, you took the high road there. That's great. What you're doing is you're diminishing it by saying, no, she's only doing that because the person standing opposite her had a vagina and we both understand that men suck. Um, so how about you just don't do that? Don't don't ruin a likable show by injecting politics in it when it doesn't need to be in it, um, especially when you're going to follow it up by saying that civilians don't matter. So we can kill all the civilians, some of which were women, by the way. Okay, so you killed a bunch of women, but because they're not special enough, they don't count. It's okay. You can you can be a victim, um, but the, these other women, you know, the, the prettier ones, the ones with the better clothes, you know, Alicent and Rainey's, well, you know, th with them, it's, it's this sort of, you know, mutual respect because we understand that it's all men's fault anyway. Anyway. I don't know. Sometimes it's better to just keep your mouth shut. If people are enjoying your show and not complaining about it, don't give them a reason to complain. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just an evil man. You know, I could, couldn't possibly know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button because subscribing really, really helps. And um, share the video. And I look forward to hearing from you on Till I see you in the next one, I will talk to you again soon. Peace.